Hey guys, what's up? This is Shivan from Studio Productions, where I bring you high quality tutorials for Windows, Mac, and iDevices. devices. Um, a couple of days back, a couple of my friends asked me, the, can you get a Siri for Mac? And one of my previous videos, um, in my applications folder, a couple, people, a couple of people saw Siri. And while that application turned out to be just a bunch of images and a bunch of scripts, most people asked me, uh, how can I get Siri for Mac? Now, um, I don't see any reason why you would want Siri for a Mac, and I don't really see great functionality. But I can show you today, I will show you today, how you can get pretty close to it. But before I kind of get into that, I want to kind of introduce you to the Mac recognition system. And if you go ahead and you head over to your uh, system preferences, you have a little uh, a system brief pane under system called speech. Now, under speech, you have two things: speech recognition and text to speech. Now, before I start start with the actual voice commands, I actually want to take you to the text to speech. Now, this is where you it's configure your computer responses, um, your system voice, um, and other things. So once you come into your text to speech frame, you can actually see the system voice. Now my my system voice is the default, which is Alex, and I think now you just heard him say it's now seven o'clock, and that is actually one of the settings. I have set my computer to tell me what the time is on an hourly basis. But before I get into that, I want to kind of cover it from the top. Now you have a bunch bunch of default system voices but uh, it kind of depends on you if you are going to choose uh, the Siri voice you will actually have to download it because it doesn't come by default so you want to go under customize and you want to scroll down to American English female there is um, a voice called Samantha and she is the default Siri voice Hello, my name is Samantha. I am an American English voice. And if you're in this British system, you will have the default United Kingdom, which is Daniel. Hello, my name is Daniel. I am a British English voice. Now, if you want to go ahead and have one of these voices, you will have to separately download them. As you can see, this voice will automatically be downloaded. And these voices are from anywhere around to 90... MB 210 MB. Samantha herself is 103 MB and it depends on you. Now I choose Alex and he can kind of sounds like this. Most people recognize me by my voice. And below you have the speaking rate. Now if you go to extremely fast you can imagine how sp fast your system will speak. Most people recognize me by my voice. And extremely slow. Most people. Okay I can't even take it. So I keep it anywhere around the normal range where it's not too slow, not too fast for me. And again, it's completely on your opinion. Now, if you go below, you have a couple of options regarding uh, regarding your notifications. You can choose to announce when displays are alerted. When uh, when uh, sorry, um, you can choose uh, to announce when alerts are displayed. So you can go ahead and change in this. And again, you have separate voices for this and uh, you can choose your phrase my name is an application name so whenever it says dash will alert you that or you can have a phrase list called alert attention excuse me pardon me okay it kind of depends on you I choose application name and again uh, I have a delay of 10 seconds so this is how it sounds like when you'll have an alert alert from system preferences most people recognize me by my voice as you can see, that's how Alex sounds. On a, or a general base, that's how your system uh, uh, notification will sound. Apart from that, you can also also choose to announce when an application needs your attention. Now, uh, suppose you were using After Effects and uh, a render just finished. So the icon will kind of start bouncing and it will say uh, render finished. So if you kind of not pay attention and you have this check mark checked, uh, your system will actually notify you by voice that this application, in this case After Effects, needs your attention. You can also choose to read selected text. Now, I, I, I don't really think I have any text that I wanted to read out, so I'm going to type in a really quick point, uh, sentence.
So I just typed in this real quick uh, sentence. It says, "My name is Alex, and I'm in built into this system." And uh, you need to kind of highlight this, and you will, depending on what your shortcut is, mine is Control S, and you can just change it right here. If I choose Control X, with a delay of two to three seconds, your computer will speak. My name is Alex. I am in built into this system. And this is how it will look like. Now it doesn't have to be into this um, uh, sentence. It can be anything. It can be on a website. It could be on a document. It could be on a PDF. As long as that PDF supports ODF. Um, apart from that, you have uh, the clock announcing, as you, can, uh, you heard. If you open date and time preferences, you can choose to announce the time on an hourly basis, on a half an hour basis, on a quarter hour basis. And again, you can just customize your voice here. So that is the part where you can uh, uh, adjust your text to speech. Now we're going to get into the actual recognition of it. If you go into the speech recognition part, you have first of all, you'll obviously need to enable it. And then you have to choose your microphone. In my case, I'm using my internal microphone. And then you need to have internal key. Now, this depends on whether, uh, one of the options you choose down here. So, uh, you can choose uh, uh, to uh, lis uh, the system uh, listens to you when you press this key here, or it listens to you continuously and you can uh, ask for a, a phrase word which is Siri in my case so if I say Siri and something else then my system will respond Siri close this window close this window and as close you, this window you can see Siri just responded Siri open system preferences opening system preferences and uh, depending on your uh, quotes you can choose that so if you're kinda getting Siri into this you can have Siri or any other name for that fact. You can have your own name here. You can have any word, but as long as the system kind of recognizes it. So, kind of keep it into that. Uh, apart, uh, then otherwise, you have a part of recognition. You have a sound that plays. So, um, I play a wood sound effect whenever um, your system, rec my system recognizes a command. Now I'm going to choose the key because I'm more used to the key so I know that it's not uh, the, the context that matters. Apart from that you have a lot more features I can see. So one of the easiest way to get response to your Mac is to tell, tell what to say. So you can say show me what to say. Show me what to say. Show me what to say. And this menu will pop up where you can choose almost anything. Uh, I mean, whatever your system recognizes it, and this is uh, from address books, uh, front window, menu bar, speakable items, application switching, and over here you have um, whatever you spoke. So I started with what time is it, or what day is it, open backups, uh, open iTunes, and all that stuff. This is your kind of like a log. Um, so I can actually ask what time is it. What time is it? It's 7.07. 7. What switch to Safari? Switching to Safari. And it's not that perfect, uh, but uh, it kind of works around. Now, here's a little cool thing. So, if I go to any website for this fact, if I go to YouTube, I can select any text. I can select any text. So, um, suppose um, I choose this text right here, right? I don't just, uh, I can't choose that. Um, I choose this. Now I can choose to convert this into a sticky note. Make this into a sticky note. Make this into a sticky note. And as you can see, you just make that make this into a sticky note. And you can choose almost anything you like, and it's pretty cool. You can actually choose a lot more things just than this. Hey, actually, uh, say, quit stickies. Switching to stickies. Quit stickies. Switching to stickies. Quit. Quit this application. Okay, it's not responding that well, but uh, as you can see, it works. 
but it's not exactly like Siri and guys don't get a to even compare this with Siri because we all know it's not comparable but uh, it, it, you can get pretty close to it and um, apart from this you just need to get uh, kind of used to this and once you get used to this you will uh, get back so again just thanks for watching guys and I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next video